All right, so I'm trying to expose my well and my uh, connections right here. I know it's kind of getting close there, so I'm trying to just dig really delicately and lightly. So I've got some connections right here somewhere, right next to this pipe. Up to me, like I'm almost there. So here's my frost-free hydrant right here. And then this is a shut off for future use which is for the shed. I need to dig this down just a little bit more. It's gonna be a valve right, right under this pipe. Just need a little bit of this dirt taken out right here. Got it dug out just a little bit more. I should be able to get the rest with the shovel, I'm, I'm assuming. Got it all exposed. It's leaking just a little bit right here. Pretty sure I snagged it with uh, the teeth right here. Pulled it just a little bit. So this one runs to the house, this one runs, I'm gonna flip this over like this and then tighten up this valve to turn it over. I'm gonna put it right here. We're gonna run the water this direction to the shed. And then I'm gonna drop this down to uh, one inch. So this is in all inch and a quarter. So now I just gotta dig the line and dig it all the way to the shed. So the hardest part's gonna be here. It's gonna be getting it not to hit my power line. Whoa. So you can see the trench right here that I've dug. This is for the water line for my shed. And I've got my water connections all down here. And it looks to me like my trench started to slough in. So here's the pipe here. This is CTS pipe. I think is what they call it. Yeah, CTS pipe, one inch. I dug this last night in the dark. And I tell you what, that was pretty intense rated for some huge PSI, I'm sure. 250 PSI, this stuff will do. So I need to stretch this out over and through my trench. This pipe's got this memory. And so, I gotta unroll this stuff. It does not wanna go through there. Okay, so get this under here. This piece of dirt here sloughed off the side. I had this all cleaned out. This is a sprinkler line that I broke. See this, gonna have to fix that, which sucks. <clears throat> Stiff. So I'm hooing and hawing because I'm working my guts out, getting this water line over here. I got dirt all in my boots. Get that dirt out of there. So the frost line here is really deep. 36, 30 inches, whatever. Pretty deep, so you gotta put your water lines way down low or they'll frost or freeze and break. First thing I gotta do today is clear out all this rock or this soil that's left off here. So here's my main line going into the house right here. This is a shut off valve for a future supply with a this has got a stop and waste on it stop and waste valve so there we go so i need that to drain look how nasty that is all that sediment in there gotta put a new fitting here new here new here oh, that bugger's not wanting to come off of there so this is going to be full of water the only reason i'm replacing this because this thread is not into this T straight. Shouldn't be pressurized, but there's gonna be a lot of water that comes out of there. So much goes to trying to keep my tools dry right there. So got that guy broke loose. Now I can cut this guy over here. There. If that wasn't bent, all I would have to do is just tighten this over here like that. But this fit fitting right here is leaking. So I've got to take this off. So it should just be able to unscrew this guy right here. There we go. That is nasty in there. Okay, this is what we got. This is the whole reason I had to take all this apart. I don't know if you can tell, but this is not thread into that joint straight. So, as a result, this was leaking. 
So I don't trust this or this. It probably just got cross-threaded. There's a chance I could save this, but it's just not worth it to me to risk that. So I just bought some new stuff and I'm gonna put that together right now. I can safely thread this into there and then that's gonna go in there and then this is where my stop and waste is gonna go here. Four layers of tape. And this goes in here like that. And then this goes in there. <laughs> Holy crap. That is not gonna be easy to get in there. There we go. So now this goes in here like this. I get in there straight like that. Okay, so now I've got my stop and waste here. Got everything hooked up. Now I wanna turn on the water, see if we have any leaks. All right, so I'm gonna turn the water on. Pray that there's, there's no leaks in there because if there is, I'm screwed. Okay, I'm here. Panel on the left says well, turn it on. Now open up the faucet. Hold on. Okay, I hear I hear water moving. Yeah, it's better than it was. Yeah, it's better. I'm sure that little pump thing just needs to come up downstairs. It looks like I don't have any leaks, so that's good. Do you want me to leave the faucet on? No. Turn it off. Just okay. go about your life. Okay, so no leaks. That's good. That's a good sign. I've got to reduce this <coughs> down to one inch off so this will give me one and a quarter reduced down to one and then i can put my cts pipe in here what what the crap that's an inch and a half oh my gosh that sucks so i guess i gotta reuse this sucker it's 5 30. hardware store closes at six i need to retain this fitting right here Ah, look at that. So it's inch and a half by by one reducer right there. Now this goes in here. Thread that sucker back in there. Not that valve nice and straight. So this last brass piece right here is gonna connect my poly pipe into play. Ooh, ran out of tape, just just enough. That's good. This is why you have to pay plumbers a lot of money, folks. So they get dirty like this. All right. Okay, so that's good. And how this works, is you put this, this pipe, shoot. Whoa, my dirt's falling in on me. This thing works with this. Put this over the top like this, okay? This has got this rubber or plastic gasket or whatever this thing fits in here. <clears throat> Tap this in with a rubber mallet, rubber mallet only, folks. There we go. And you put this guy in here. This just threads right on here like this. <clears throat> like that. And that's how that makes that tight connection there. So I don't see any leaks, so I think we're good. Got the skid steer behind me. I'm gonna backfill this trench here. Got my water line run. And I was fighting this all night last night, getting the water line run. I ran into quite the snag right here. There's my sewer output, and I bought this four inch sewer line right here. It says right on it, sewer pipe ASTM. But all these fittings that I bought, are too big for this pipe. And so the fittings I've got coming out of here are not gonna work for this kind of pipe. So, so I'm not exactly sure how to transition from this thinner wall pipe to the thicker wall PVC, but I will figure it out. So I had one heck of a time trying to get this water line fished into here, and it was a real pain in the neck. But I've got it all hooked up right here. I got my fitting here to terminate off the CTS. And then I've got this quarter inch ball valve right here. Left this uh, pipe long, 
I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna put it. And then I'm gonna put some foam in right there. So I had to tear that apart really good, dig it out. I forgot to get the great stuff. Foam to cover up the hole that I dug out with the insulation. Then I'm gonna foam that cavity or these cavities right here with a uh, single wall or closed cell foam for that water line. So I had a really big fat mess on my hands right here. This pipe connected into there and teed in to this water. So that water main right there, that's a little water hydrant off my sprinkling system. So that's this line here. I had a real peach because this line broke where it teed off right there and head that direction and then one head this direction it broke. So I had to kind of come up with this concoction. It's really ugly and super annoying. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. It might break when I backfill this. So I've got this extension here for future sprinkler use when I go to add sprinklers later. These are my electrical lines that I use the trencher to run. You can see the blue pipe down below where I did my, that's my water line. So here's my main water source here. I showed you this before, but I've got this on here to, for my stop and waste. This little stand pipe right here is for, uh, my valve is underneath here. And then that stand pipe runs here. And this is how I'm gonna shut off water to the shed. So when I backfill this, just make sure that those stay put where they're supposed to be. But for the most part, this trench is about five feet deep or so. And you just have to have it that deep for your water. Four feet really is good enough. I got a little carried away with the excavator. Finished up the last of the stuff I need to do so now I can backfill it other than this stupid sewer trench, which really ticked me off. And it looks like I lost a glove along the way somewhere. sacrifice to make folks to get water and power to my shed. So I just have so much more dirt that I know what to do with now. It's just so much extra dirt because there's so much air and comp no compaction in the trench. So I'm just gonna pile up the soil over there in where I've got my soil pile. And then in the spring, I'll have to come back and uh, touch up the trench because it's gonna uh, settle quite a bit. So this part's a little bit difficult to get just right. And I got so much extra dirt, it's just insane. So the snow is just about almost melted. I got a little bit there, a little bit there, and then a little bit over there on the north side of the house. This is how this project kind of turned out. You see all this dirt on the turf. And then this is where I uh, did my, dug my trench. The trench here is gonna have to sit and bake over the winter so we can get the, the settling. I do need to come out here with a broom or, or brush or something and try to get all of this, this dirt it's on the sod back over there and that's going to have to settle and then I'm going to have to re-level that in the spring. I also tore out that uh, tether ball pole because the kids never used it and it was just in my way. I was always having to mow around it. Now I need to set up this, this guy here. This is the plumbing for the sewer. Yeah, you're getting, yeah, you're getting better. Yeah. At the bottom? It feels like it. Crap! Hold on! Hold on! Shoot. <laughs> Hold on! 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 Hold on!
Okay, whoa, just hold your horses for a minute. Okay, now go. Oh my gosh. 